Hey guys, welcome to yet another video in our training series. Uh, there's going to be three <clears throat> different ways that you're going to look for your files once you've done recording, once you've saved a project. We're going to walk through all three of those as they're very different. Uh, the first one we're going to do now is GarageBand files. So if you're doing solo episodes or if you need to record a custom intro and outro, or I know for some of uh, some of our clients, if you have if there's two hosts in the room at one time, you guys are going to be using GarageBand to do a lot of your recording. So I just want to make sure that you're clear on how these things get saved. Um, so let's look here uh, in one of our folders as an example. So the GarageBand should automatically, and we've already gone through the setup and the template and everything with you beforehand. GarageBand should save everything in one single file. So, and you'll see the extension dot band. So Erica Welsh intro new dot band. So this is uh, the intro that has been recorded for this episode. And then there's also the actual episode, the full episode itself. So once you're, once you've saved your GarageBand project and you're done and you're ready to send it to us, this is what you want to look for. And you can specify wherever you want to save those at to make it easiest on yourself. But just so you're aware, you're looking for a single file like this with the dot band extension. Sometimes it may not say dot band. You'll literally just see the name of the file here. So once you've located that, I'm going to move this to my desktop just for the purposes of demonstration. Erica Welsh intro. Once you found that, right click. You want to go to compress and this is going to create a, a dot zip of the same project. And basically the reason we do that is because inside this, the files that we need to get to are inside of this there's a lot of them in there so zipping it makes it one single file so when you're sending things through Dropbox nothing it will basically ensure that nothing gets lost or gets messed up in the transfer so once you've done that you have a dot zip keep this GarageBand file um, as a backup for yourself and then take the dot zip and we'll go ahead and you can just drag and drop that into Dropbox and if you find your folder we'll just do balance blonde for purposes of examples and then here we are with the raw files folder so just put that dot zip in Dropbox it will sync or whatever other method that you are using to send us files whatever is easiest for you just make sure you're using the dot zip and that's it for GarageBand